Whenever you hear the phrase human trafficking, it is likely that you immediately think of sex trafficking. However, that is only one of the many types of human trafficking. The reality is that modern day slavery can come in many forms, including labor trafficking. Human trafficking involves debt bondage, forced labor, and involuntary child labor. Traffickers keep their victims under their control through the use of violence, threats, lies, and other forms of coercion. This forces the victims to work in many industries against their will. Now that you have a basic understanding of what labor trafficking is, let's look at some labor trafficking statistics to understand how it happens, where it happens, and who is most vulnerable. Hi everyone, I'm Elliot from eTactics, and today I'm going to go over general statistics behind labor trafficking. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Also, hit that alert bell icon so that when we post new helpful content, you get notified. The number of human trafficking reports remained consistent during the COVID-19 pandemic compared to pre-pandemic numbers. This means that the world discovered labor trafficking is basically immune to global events. Talk about scary. There were 1,052 reported cases of labor trafficking in 2020. In comparison, there were 1,231 cases reported across the United States in 2019. There were 3,583 victims of trafficking identified in 2020. The pandemic forced the world to shut down many industries and buildings. This led to human traffickers quickly adapting to the new environments. When the government shut down one venue, the traffickers often found another. Many people believe that most trafficking situations involve abductions like in the movies. In reality, it is very rare to find a kidnapping using a white van. The Polaris 2022 report provided the following statistics. 69% of labor trafficking victims got recruited by a potential or current employer. 15% of cases involved recruitment by a family member. An intimate partner or marriage proposition lured 5% of labor victims into trafficking. The proportion of people recruited into labor trafficking by an intimate partner jumped from 22% in 2019 to 27% in 2020. This is a 21% increase. There's also a big misconception about who the victims are. Many people believe that victims are female children forced to perform sex acts. In the world of labor trafficking, things are a bit different. The National Human Trafficking Hotline and the Polaris Project provided the following labor trafficking statistics. In 2019, 682 cases involved female victims. Another 556 involved male victims. 859 cases involved adults and another 177 cases involved minors. The top five nationalities of labor trafficking victims were Philippines, Mexico, United States, India, and Colombia. The top five nationalities of the actual traffickers are the United States, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Qatar, and Philippines, in that order. Yes, you heard correctly. The United States has the most human traffickers in the world when it comes to labor trafficking. Lastly, it's important to understand where labor trafficking takes place. Unfortunately, the answer is everywhere. That said, some places have higher rates of labor trafficking than others. The top five states for labor trafficking in 2019 were California with 157 identified cases, Florida with 131 identified cases, Texas with 112 identified cases, Georgia with 74 identified cases, and New York with 51 identified cases. As you can see, there are some unique patterns among these states. All of these states are on the edge of the United States. All of them have access to the ocean, which means that they all have some sort of port access. This also explains why so many labor trafficking cases are for nationals who are most likely coerced into coming to the country. If you'd like to learn more about labor trafficking and how to mitigate the situation, reach out to your tactics. If you've already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below.